Creating PDFs in Figma is uh, relatively easy, but there's a few things that you need to keep in mind uh, when exporting them. So in this example, I have a presentation which uh, I wanted to export uh, as a PDF. And uh, what uh, I need to do right before creating the PDF is I need to adjust uh, the frames uh, in a vertical way, simply because uh, Figma is going to pick up uh, the frames uh, from the top uh, to the bottom. And uh, on top of that, uh, you want to make sure that the frames are in order in uh, the layers panel. So over here, you can see that it starts from four, three, one, two. So this is not ideal because uh, it uh, likely mess up the order in the export. So you want to simply start from one, then have two, then three, and four. And there's also a quicker way to do this, especially if you're dealing with many pages, maybe you've been working on a project and uh, you haven't had time to organize the layers panel since uh, it's uh, something that you want to do at the very end. So say that you have uh, 30, 40, 50 pages. The easier way is to simply go under plugins and uh, type in a reorder. And uh, you're going to find this plugin called uh, Super Tidy. So if uh, I go ahead and open it up, I can uh, <clears throat> actually find this option, which is reorder. And after I selected all of these uh, frames, uh, click on reorder, I'm going to essentially have these reordered automatically so that I don't have to do it uh, manually. Now, after this is done, be sure to select all of the frames uh, and uh, I would collapse uh, each and every one of these uh, frames uh, just to be sure that you don't have any extra layers. You can also go under the quick actions and the writing collapse layers. So what this is going to do is uh, say that you have a few of these opened uh, and simply going to go back, uh, right, uh, collapse. Uh, and uh, as you can see, this is going to collapse uh, uh, all of them automatically. And again, this is not something which uh, is essential for this specific project since we only have four frames. Uh, but if you're dealing with uh, dozens or hundreds of frames, uh, this is a godsend. So collapse layer, definitely keep it in mind. Select all of the frames. Uh, and uh, at this point, uh, you can uh, go here under Figma and uh, you can go under File and export frames to PDF. Now this is going to create uh, a PDF, which I can rename and I'm going to save it right here. And uh, if I go under the finder and I search for the PDF that I just created, you can see it uh, right here. We have our nice PDF in the right order. Now, you might be also wondering, uh, what if uh, I simply use uh, the export option that I can find over here, PDF? Now, let's see what happens if uh, I go ahead and export uh, these uh, as PDFs from here. <clears throat> simply going to click OK. And uh, if I go back uh, into the folder, simply going to cancel these elements from one of the previous videos. You can see that uh, these uh, slides uh, are going to be exported into four different PDFs. So the, the difference is that uh, by exporting it like this, it's going to export it individually. While uh, if I go under File and then uh, Export Frames to PDF, it's going to merge them into one single PDF.